Hello cuties! Today I'll be showing you my hamster's new cage setup. Nosy has a Halloween theme going on and I really wanted to show it to you guys. Now this is a pretty big cage, it is 2000 square inches, so doing themed setups is a bit challenging, but I was able to do it mostly by making a lot of DIYs. Uh, I do have tutorials for some of them, so I hope you check them out after this video. The right side of the cage looks fantastic. The castle, the witch with the potions and the creepy tree. I also like the grave. This is Sunflower D Seeds. Obviously, he is not resting in peace. His grave is a nice way to provide additional texture with coconut fiber. This castle is pretty easy to make. You just need a piece of cardboard, draw a silhouette, paint it black and paint the windows. Uh, then I just decided to add this little bridge so that he can climb on it and peek from here. It would look super cute. I really like how this tree turned out. It's just a square porcelain dish wrapped with some paper bags and painted brown. The branches are super creepy and weird, so I really like it. Normally I don't use sprays to decorate my hamster's cage because he eats too much, but uh, now he is old and he cannot eat hard food that much anymore, so it's okay to put them in. He is almost two years old. He will be two in November, so we'll celebrate that together as well. This little house turned out great. It's mostly cardboard and acrylic paint, so it's super easy to make. If you watch my videos, you probably know that this eye is a cover for a sand bath. The coffin is also something I made, so if you wish to try it yourself, you can check out my tutorial. I have two pumpkins here. One is a candle holder that I got abroad, and the other one had a light inside that I removed for safety. I made this room and it's fully functional. You can actually sweep stuff with it. And it can also serve as a boredom breaker. You can put a treat inside and have your hamster try to get it out. This is a bendy bridge that I made. It's super easy to make. You just need to glue some paper tissue in the gaps and color it any color you need. Uh, it's great for homemade bendy... Oh, hello. Hi. Uh, it's great for homemade bendy bridges uh, because they tend to have a lot of gaps which is dangerous for your hamster's feet. Hello! As you can see, there are some branches in the cage. You need to make sure it is the safe kind. These here are magnolia and that one is a grape wine. I washed them thoroughly and I baked them in an oven. As you can see, I am using wood shavings, but don't be alarmed, these are not cedar shavings, they are not pine shavings, this is spruce. Spruce is the only softwood that is safe for hamsters, and it is the preferred bedding in Europe. 